What is happening, YouTube? The first day of the Clippers Summer League. And I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty disappointed. <clears throat> um, we took the loss. Um, our rookies um, was eh, pretty shaky, I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm very disappointed with uh, Lawrence Frank for the past year. And especially two weeks ago, I was extremely irate. And this game just gives me so much flashbacks. And as a person who watched the Summer League, um, the guy who I won in the LA Clipper uniform, he's in with the Grizzlies right now, Gigi Jackson. He's ball balling out. I got to make a separate video about him, man, because, ooh, y'all don't know how good this dude's going to be. And the Clippers... We made one of the worst draft decisions in NBA history. I said it, man. How do you just take Kobe Brown over Gregory Jackson Jr.? Oh, man. But so pretty much, you know, the game was started off competitive. Um, 24 to 31. Um, the Utah Jazz, they just later on just took control in general. Um, the Jazz started to pour it on. Um, towards like the third quarter and then the fourth quarter the Clippers had some spark backs Xavier Moon he got his buckets 26 points um, Musa Diabate he did really good got a double double proves my point that he should be getting actual rotational minutes like personally I would play Diabate as the backup big dude is so switchable on defense really good rebounder um, also, a good shot blocker brings in the energy. Um, Preston, I'm not going to lie. He actually kind of did um, open my eyes a bit, too. Um, 10 assists, um, 15 points. Got a, He actually got a double-double. That's actually pretty solid. And his defense is pretty promising. I'm not going to lie to you. But our rookies, um, no intentional disrespect to them. But... The Clippers just fumbled the bag again, and I don't know how the Clippers draft this awful. Um, we took Kobe Brown, seriously, over Gigi Jackson or Leonard Miller. Um, honestly, I don't. I cannot find any good reasons why um, teams pass up Gigi Jackson. There's like no legit reasonings, no good reasonings why he was passed up on. Dude has a humble demeanor in interviews. Dude is so skilled. Dude could handle the ball. Um, dude was solid on defense. Dude brings in the energy. And he's only 18 years old. I don't know what on earth was the LA Clips thinking, man. And that made me very pissed off. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, two weeks ago. And I'm still haven't recovered. And watching this game... I'm pretty, it just reminds me of a lot of flashbacks, man. Lawrence Frank, how dare you, man? How do you pass up a generation of talent? But again, I hope he proves me wrong. I really hope Kobe Brown, he proves, proves me, he proves me wrong. Um, Jordan Miller, um, you know, he, he did a little bit more solid than Kobe Brown today. Well, Kobe Brown was more better on rebounds, so. There is some promise by Kobe Bryant. He can rebound. Um, he is a pretty strong dude. But is he worth taking guys over G. Jackson or Leonard Miller? Time will tell. But, you know, my as a person who follows the draft, I would say no. Um, a guy like G.G. Jackson would do so good with a guy like Russell Westbrook. Oh, my goodness. Because G.G., he plays pretty good off ball. He, could, he, he now can shoot the ball. Uh, catch and shoot, GG. Oh man, Russ was set her up, set him up so good, man. I'm definitely gonna make a separate video on GG Jackson when I got the time because I've been watching some Memphis Grizzlies game. Um, <clears throat> honestly, they're my second team now since I love GG Jackson that much. Obviously, still a Clippers fan first, but man, this is painful that we actually passed up GG Jackson. I don't know how do we fumble this bad. But anyways, go back go back on topic. Um, Williams, 10 points. He did okay. Six rebounds. Um, Morgan, 
Um, he showed some promise. 14 points, 6 for 10, 3 rebounds and 3 assists. But mainly Diabate was doing most of the work. And then Xavier Moon, he was, ooh, he, he pretty much was the star of the game. Dude was hitting buckets when, you know, we were down by a lot. And he actually made the game pretty close. Like, it looked like we were about to come back. But um, the Jazz said, nope, that's enough. The Jazz, they actually got a pretty fun squad. Um, you know, they got Kessler, they got Markinen, um, they have, um, now they got Ochai. Well, they got Ochai, well, last year, but, um, and then they got Keontae George. Ooh, that's a fun squad to deal with, man. Um, the Jazz, they got a nice young core, and they got Danny Ainge in the front office. Something I wish the Clippers would have. Um, they actually, you know, develop their youth and all that, and within the future, the Jazz could be a pretty good team. Um, but now, Keontae George, the star of the game, 10 assists, 30, 33 points, dude was smooth. He honestly reminded me of a Jamal Murray, man. Dude was a walking bucket. Mmm, Jazz, man. Um, I know the Jazz, they, they lost down Donovan and Mitchell, but that was the best rebuild they ever could have possibly done. Donovan Mitchell for all these picks, and Rudy Gobert too. Um, but now, they found their own Donovan Mitchell. They found a new replacement. Keontae George is just going to replace Donovan Mitchell smoothly. Oh, try a body, 21 points. Oh, not to forget, they also got Taylor Hendricks as well too, so, oh boy. Their defense will be filthy. Man, Keontae George was just simply to start a game. Um, Johnny Juzang, though, he was a solid six man for them. Uh, 13 points and all that. But, man, to be fair, the Clippers did face a more younger team that has more talented upside. So, um, I, I don't know exactly when, when the next game plays. I need to check the schedules. But, man... Uh, first game, hopefully, um, we can start, you know, getting some wins. Kobe Brown, I really hope he proves me wrong, but I'm I'm just still in disbelief what we did two weeks ago, and and especially to see the the people who I vouch for do good, it just like makes my heart like more in pain. But again, to be fair. This is a summer league, and the summer league is actually pretty in- interesting because sometimes guys, they do pretty good, um, like, you know, in the summer league, but then they kind of flop, but sometimes uh, people in, in the summer league, they do pretty bad, but then unexpectedly in the regular season, um, they actually manage to pick it up, so there could always be this chance, but I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what was Lawrence Frank thinking on draft night. Lawrence Frank, man, he's been he been making a lot of awful moves, man. Dude just be throwing away draft picks like it was nothing. Honestly, the only good move they he well, okay, I'll give him some credit. The only thing that there are some things that Lawrence Frank did good with like such as um bringing Bones Highland, Russ, and KJ Martin is low key a, a steal for the Clippers, but but, but Lawrence Frank just fumbled, like, he made two, like, worse fumble. Not even a high schooler would fumble like Lawrence Frank. For example, the Eric Gordon trade. How, like, who in the right mind would trade for, who would trade a first-round pick for a guy that you didn't need on your team? And then second of all, how do you pass up a guy who is the number one um, high school? High, the, the number one class of 2023 in Gigi Jackson. So, Lawrence Frank, I don't know what's wrong with his head, but, you know, hopefully, uh, Lawrence Frank did see something that I did not see in Kobe Brown. So, next game, I hope Kobe Brown makes me eat my words, man, but, but, you know, lately, Unfortunately, my take might be right, but hopefully Kobe Brown does prove me wrong and he makes me 
Like, okay, okay. If Kobe Brown turns to turns out to be a star for the Clippers and he makes a lot of clutch plays in the playoffs that helps the Clippers win it all, I will probably make an apology video. That's how bad I want Kobe Brown to prove me wrong. I hope Kobe Brown makes me uh, make an apology video, man, because, boy, I am still pissed about what the Clippers did on June 22, man. And my face was all red. I'm not going to lie. I did shed a tear. I shed an angry tear. And I had a hard time sleeping on what the Clippers just did. But again, I hope I get proven wrong. Please, Kobe Brown, please prove me wrong. Jordan Miller, prove me wrong. Both of them, both of them, please prove me wrong. But anyways, um, I know it's not an ideal start of the summer league. What you guys think about um, Jordan Miller and Kobe Brown? I'm hoping they prove me wrong. But, you know, do you think they could, they could turn it around? become solid people, I mean solid players, or you think that um, we should have definitely took my guy Gigi Jackson or Leonard Miller or any of the other guys that, he, that you know, that was on the board. Let me know what you think. Um, have a good night or have a good day whenever you're watching it, and peace.